Today we're doing Module 5, Lesson 6. The objective of today's lesson is to build non-unit fractions less than one whole from unit fractions. The materials needed for today are your online whiteboard or your whiteboard dry erase marker and dry eraser. And you'll also may want your fraction strips out for you to be able to reference during the lesson. The teaching style we're going to follow is where I do it, we do it together, and then you do it on your own. First up, I'm going to show you an example. It says, use the fraction bar to complete the sentence. So this is where you may want to have your fraction strip out that looks like this. So it says the fraction bar has blank equal parts. If you look at this fraction strip and you look at yours, you can see that this has one, two equal parts. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in that this has two equal parts. And if you're looking at the fraction strip of yours that has two equal parts, remember we labeled it. So each piece was one piece out of two or one half. One piece out of two or one half. So each part, so if we're looking at just this part, each part is blank of the whole. Well, we labeled it already. Each part is one half of the whole. So that's saying if we look at just one piece, just one piece represents half of the whole. Okay, let's go ahead and have you try one with me. Use the fraction bar to complete the sentence. So this one looks a little bit different. You can see that this fraction bar has one, two, three, four equal pieces. So this is broken up into fourths. And if you look at your fourths fraction strip, you'll see that each piece is labeled one out of four or one fourth. And in this case, they've labeled one of those pieces and shaded it in for you. So let's take a look at what they're asking. Each part of the fraction bar is blank of the whole. Go ahead and write on your whiteboards what fraction you think goes in this spot. What does each part of the fraction bar represent? Okay, let's check your answer with mine. Each part of the fraction bar is one fourth of the whole. So no matter which piece you're looking at, it's going to represent one fourth or one out of four pieces. And now how much of the whole is shaded? So they've shaded this one piece. Go ahead and write on your whiteboard how much of the whole fraction strip is shaded. Okay, so how much of the whole is shaded? Well, just one piece is shaded, one piece out of the four pieces. So one fourth of the whole is shaded. Okay, go ahead and erase your whiteboards. We're gonna take a look at another example. This time we can see that there's more than one piece shaded. So that's gonna kind of change our answers a little bit. 
So you can get out your strip that has one, two, three pieces. So your strip that is thirds. And you can see ours are labeled the same way, one piece out of three or one third. So on your whiteboard, go ahead and write, each part of the fraction bar is blank of the whole. So each part, so let's say we're looking at just this part right here. That represents what part of the whole? Go ahead and write what fraction that is on your whiteboards. Okay, so you should have wrote that each part of the fraction bar is one third of the whole. This part is one third, this part is one third, this part is one third. Each piece is one third of the whole. Now, how much of the whole is shaded? This is where it might get a little more tricky. Go ahead and write in what fraction of the whole is shaded, and then we'll go over it together. Okay, so this is where it's a little different than the last two examples because two of the pieces are shaded or colored in. So that means that we write two on the top for the numerator. Two of the pieces are shaded out of three pieces altogether. So remember that bottom number is always how many pieces there are total. So there are three pieces total, two of them are shaded. So that means two thirds of the whole is shaded. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the homework that you'll be working on alone today. IXL skill V5, which is understanding fractions with fraction bars. So you're gonna use the fraction bar to complete the sentences that follow, just like we were practicing. So for this example, it asks what fraction of the whole is shaded? So we can count, there's one, two, three, four, five pieces that are shaded. And how many pieces all together? One, two, three, four, five, six. So five-sixths of the whole is shaded in this example. Go ahead and begin.